हेलो माय फ्रेंड वेलकम टू द चैनल एड्स विद लवनीक सो दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ द वीडियो सीरीज हाउ टू जनरेट लीड्स फॉर योर रियल एस्टेट क्लाइंट्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई विल बी रिवीलिंग द एग्जैक्ट स्ट्रेटजी एंड मेथड्स दैट आई हैव यूज्ड टू जनरेट 5100 लीड्स फॉर माय रियल एस्टेट क्लाइंट्स एट अ कॉस्ट पर लीड ऑफ जस्ट 6129 6.29 with an total ad spend of three lakh twelve thousand five hundred and eighty six. So this is the one of the client. If I show you another one, which I have already showed in part one. So in this account, you can see this one the ad spend is thirty one thousand three hundred nineteen, and the results so far I have generated is five hundred and fifty one at a cost per result of just fifty six point eighty four. So without wasting any time, let's just start the part two of the video series. in which we will be covering the exact audience that i have used to generate these amazing results so firstly i will just uh, you know we have already covered the objective the buying type and uh, the conversion location in the part 1 of the video series so i will not cover all of these things in the part 2 we will start just from the audience section so in the audience section the first thing that i want you to do is to change this advantage plus audience thing to just uh, you know normal audience setting so we will click on further limit the reach of your ads and we will click on switch setups okay so once done it will uh, look like something like that so i have created uh, so the reason of doing that is that we don't want meta to optimize our audience or reach uh, or reach more people beyond our targeting we want to keep this restriction because in lead gen i have uh, you know seen this in, in uh, for my multiple clients when you uh, run campaigns on broad targeting or advantage plus targeting yes surely your cost per result goes very down significantly down but hence your cost per uh, hence your uh, conversion rate basically you attracts the lead at the lowest cost possible but then those leads don't convert so for, when you are generating leads for you know real estate client i will always recommend you to go with the interest targeting and target in, uh, interest very you know precisely and just keep the advantage plus uh, feature turned off you may pay some uh, 10 20 or 100 rupees extra for a lead but the conversion rate will be much much higher in comparison to the broad targeting or uh, you know the advantage plus audience targeting you can if you if you don't trust me you can just test it out with your one campaign just create a one new campaign with the audience that i'm going to uh, show you and just see yourself if the conversion rates are better with this audience or not and then you can uh, you know uh, take the actions accordingly so there is nothing that i am uh, you know saying that okay you have to use this only you just test it out and uh, hopefully this will uh, you know work for you as well because this has worked for me over the years and for multiple of my clients it is still relevant so now let's quickly go to the audience part so i have created i uh, use four audiences for my real estate clients and basis on their property type whether it is a commercial property or is it a residential property i uh, you know uh, changes a few things and i will uh, tell you that as well uh, with a strategy that i also use which i will you know cover in a later part of the video so let's uh, check what is inside the first audience okay so let's just go to the audience part and i will show you the exact four audiences that i use for my real estate clients and i change them or tweak them slightly according to the you know property of the client if we, whether it is a, a commercial property or a residential property so i will tell you that as well so let's go to the audience section so these are the four audiences that i use for my real estate clients so we will check the audience one that we have here so in this audience if you see what i do is basically the uh, the location you can keep it accordingly whether you want to target whole india or some specific cities so that is up to you from where your uh, client wants the maximum lead the age group you can keep it open 18 to 65 there is no need to change the age group right and because uh, you will see in the breakdowns that meta will be spending only on the age groups from where you are getting the maximum number of leads it won't spend on the age group where you are not getting any leads okay so you don't have to worry about that now in the interest so i uh, you know structure my audience in four ways so in the first way what i do is 
first i add interest related to property only property so as you can see i have mentioned interest as property finder first time buyer 99 acres real estate real property zillow or magic bricks these are some of them which i have added as i just mentioned i have just now created these audience so what you can do is you can add more interest relevant to those only property related interests you can also add godrej properties uh, lodha and the uh, uh, and other builders names in the interest or the website or any other relevant interest you will you will find all those interests in the you know relevant section of the audience so you can just click on that if you are already generating leads for your real estate client and then we will just narrow it down with the commercial property since assuming that we are you know marketing a commercial property that's why i have I, you know added commercial property over here if you are doing it for residential you can uh, you know narrow these interest with the residential property or you can even narrow it down with 3 bhk or 4 bhk anything uh, anything any interest like that which are most relevant to your property so this is the first audience that we i use and always remember to keep the advantage plus uh, audience off as i just mentioned you the uh, as i just mentioned explain ex as i just explained you the reasoning for that so now let's go to the second audience and see what we have in this now in the second audience how i theme it uh, this uh, audience is i firstly add interest uh, uh, on the basis of people who are interested in investing now what i have done here is i have added financial market as a interest investment management stocks investment strategy stock market investment wealth management investor or return on investment so if you see there is nothing relevant to the property or real estate or anything like that this theme is purely based on the investment so you can add more interest related to the investment as per your you know as per the audience you will see in the relevant section so you can add more and more interest to increase your audience size and then you can narrow those interest by your product like it is a real estate thing so you can uh, narrow uh, these interest with real estate investment trust. so basically what it will do is it will cater uh, our ads to the people who are interested in invest uh, in investing and in, interested in real estate investing so that's how your audience targeting will become uh, more uh, you know precise and you will attract uh, qualified leads or the people who would be interested in your product so this is are the interest that i have uh, narrowed down the you know uh, above interest which is which are real estate investment trust real estate uh, creative real estate investing real estate investment club property investment club real estate investing or real estate investment trust so remember you just add all uh, these interest and similar to those don't add anything like property or anything because we have a separate audience for that so this is the audience two that we have now let's go to the audience three so in the audience three, we will be targeting HNIs, basically high net worth individuals, and we will, uh, you know, uh, this is an attempt to uh, target HNIs by the interest that we have added, and then we will narrow it down by our product. If it is a commercial property, we will just simply uh, narrow it down with commercial property, and if it is a residential property or a land, then we will narrow it down by land or the uh, residential property. Now the interest here are first class travel, luxury resorts, luxury yachts, luxury uh, luxury yacht and luxury vehicle, high net worth individual or luxury goods. And behavior wise, we have targeted frequent international travelers or people who prefer high value goods in India. So you can add more such interest. You can add luxury vehicles or you can even mention the uh, brands like BMW, Audi or any brand, you know, any internet, any luxury brand that you want to add. So in this in, uh, audience section, we will be theming our audience as and we will targeting HNIs and then we will na narrow it down by our product. If it is commercial property, then we will simply narrow it down by commercial property. If it is uh, the residential then we will uh, add the residential property and if it is the uh, you know our land so then we can just mention our land and you can always add more and more interest over here but you have to keep this in mind that all the interest that you will be uh, adding here are relevant to the ones that we have added so if basically if you will add investment over here then it will just uh, you know uh, it won't be a good fit in this theme so you have to just only add all those interests that caters to hnis right so this was the audience third and now there is the last one which i use which is audience four so in audience four what 
I, how I think my audience is, I, uh, you know, I uh, targets business owners and then I narrow it down by commercial property or residential property or land based upon my product. So if you see what I have targeted over here is I have my own business, owner at own business, owner and CEO work at my own business, I have my own business and you know interest like that. So what you can do is these are a few of them which I've added since I just told you that I have created this audience just to showcase you. So what you can do is you can add more and more interest later to that you will find many under the relevance uh, section of the, where we create the audiences. So you can add more interest which are relevant to business owner, CEO, managing director. Okay. And then you can narrow it down with the commercial property. Now these four audience will have a strong overlap, right? And just to avoid you know any overlap i will tell you that how you have to use these audience okay so let's say we uh, go to the uh, uh, asset level and we have added audience one over here okay so now just to give you an example let's say our campaign has a budget of uh, 2500 rupee per day okay so what we will do is obviously we, as uh, in part one, I mentioned that we will be using the uh, campaign visit optimization. So what we will do is we will add 2500 over here. And since we have. And since we have four ad groups, so we will divide uh, 500. Uh, we will allocate 500 for each of the ad set, which comes to uh, 2000 rupees, right? And 5,000 we will keep it open and we will let Meta decide where it he, where the where the system want to spend it and how we will do it we will add a campaign uh, spending limit which will be minimum in our case so we will be adding a ad set spending limit so what we will do is we will just go under the budget and schedule and then we will click on ad set spending limit and we will keep daily minimum as 500 so you will create four ad set one for audience one one for audience two one for audience three and one for audience four and in all of these audience you will add 500 500 500 each which comes to a total of 2000 rupees and our campaign limit as is uh, and our uh, campaign budget is 2500 uh, uh, so what uh, 2500 so what it will do is it uh, our uh, each campaign uh, our each ad set will spend minimum of 500 rupees and the 500 which are left it will uh, decided by matter where it want to spend this amount and we will in and since we are using the cbo then we don't have to take care about the overlap thing okay so this is the audience thing and there is a uh, uh, one uh, more thing which is when you are uh, you know uh, generating leads for your real estate clients one thing that i want to uh, i want you to do is let's say if you are targeting a location like delhi ncr so what i would recommend you doing is you create a campaign that targets delhi ncr like delhi noida gurugram gajiabad you know all these uh, areas and then from these uh, areas exclude some premium locations like uh, greater kalash or you know any other location that you think are uh, uh, will have the most amount of people interested in your product and they will have the capacity to you know uh, own it so you can exclude those pin codes and then those pin codes you can target in a separate uh, separate uh, campaign and in this campaign since your audience size will be very very uh, narrow so what you can do is on uh, those campaign you can create your audience targeting open and uh, uh, and uh, from this campaign you can exclude those uh, pin codes so you will have two campaigns one will be targeting to the uh, premium location pin codes and the second one will be targeting uh, other uh, regions okay so this is the uh, audience part and for the placements you can keep it as advantage plus on placement uh, you don't have to make any changes because once you will you know make the campaign live you will see in the breakdown section that your ad spend is going only on the placements where you are getting the most of the conversion so there is uh, nothing like that if some uh, placement is not working then meta will is still spending on the placement okay so this doesn't happen and if there is some issue with the if with this targeting or the things that i have you know uh, no, 
mentioned uh, until now and will be covering in the coming part of the videos uh, if there is a thing that uh, you know or didn't say uh, your uh, lead quality is, is still not very good which i doubt which won't happen trust me i am using this audience uh, you know uh, and the campaign setting for my multiple clients and the uh, lead quality and everything is i think the best that we uh, could have achieved okay so if uh, there is any if there is any uh, uh, any issue then you can just remove the audience network from the placement as you can use the advantage plus one it won't uh, affect okay so this is it for the part two guys in the part three i will be revealing you the exact form strategy to you know generate the quality leads only and once you will combine the part one and part two and part three and part four strategies all together trust me you will get better results you can compare those results by your own and you will see a difference okay so i will see you in the uh, in the next one till then take care bye bye